Why do you think Margot and Ryan make the perfect Barbie and Ken? I think if you were to conjure an image of Barbie and Ken up in your mind, um, you would you would pretty much get Margot and you would get Ryan. <laughs> they really, I mean, they really do embody Barbie energy and Ken energy. Um, but also what I love about this movie is that, um, you know, myself included, of course, is that there's lots of Barbies and lots of Kens. Um, and, and, I, and I think that's kind of been the evolution of, of the Barbie brand over the years is that it started as one thing and thankfully has kind of evolved to be more inclusive, to be more diverse, to accommodate differently abled people, to accommodate all sorts of, you know, um, body types and ethnicities and colors mm -hmm. and, you know, gender expressions. I think, um, you know, that that's... Barbie was such a... It was such an innovative and disruptive idea when it first, when it first hit the stands. You know, before that, girls played with dolls that were ch like infant children, and Barbie, for the first time, was like, actually, you can play with a future version of yourself where you can aspire and hope to dream to be anyone that you want. I mean, at that time, as long you had to be blonde, but uh, but you could be a doctor. You know, you could be a lawyer. You could be, you know. President yeah. of the United States. Margot gave Ryan a gift every day to get into character. Do you know how he got into character? What did you see? I saw a lot of working out. I saw a lot of working out. I could not beat this man to the gym. No matter how early I went, he was always there. He always stayed later than me. So I really saw the discipline and I really saw the Kennergy. And um, I think I think viewers will get to see the Kennergy when they see Ryan's torso and the rest of him but all, you know, in, in the movie. So a bit of a bit of a hint, a bit of a mini mini spoiler, but he is, man is yoked, yoked. I heard that uh, the Kins were possibly invited to the Barbie sleepovers, or at least we heard there were Barbie sleepovers. So did you guys ever get an invitation or did you have your own Kins sleepovers? Yes, the Barbies had a sleepover, a very famous sleepover, um, where they got to wear pajamas and, you know, um, I'm just projecting here, but I imagine there may have been hair braiding, maybe. Um, and we were we were invited to Skype in, so we we kind of did, you know we 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 were digitally there. We kind of came, we said hello from a from a screen, uh -huh. um, just to let them, you know. It, it was definitely a bonding time for the for the Barbies, and that isn't to say that Ken didn't have their own bonding uh, mechanism. It was definitely not PJs in a sleepover though. Uh, Greta was very um, uh, deliberate in what she wanted the Kens to do to bond, which was to gym together. So while the Barbies were having a nice relaxing night, the Kens were, mm, you know, we were just pumped, you know, it's just a male aggression and testosterone and um, lifting things and flexing and 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 all that so that that was the that was the chosen bonding ritual for for the kids i want you to take us behind the scenes um we got a chance to see you doing your thing with the director in the background margo in the background going back to your hip-hop days which was really fun but i want you to yep. take me to one of the best bonding moments that you all had uh when you got to let loose as a cast take us behind the scenes what was that like I missed one of the best nights that they had as a cast. I was, I had to fly back to Toronto to host the Juno Awards, which of course was amazing and so fun, but the everyone else, everyone else rented a massive limo and watched Magic Mike live in Piccadilly Square. How could I miss that? They all FaceTimed me from the limo as if like, I wasn't gonna die of jealousy. Um, <laughs> It, yeah, that was a that was a tough one to miss. I imagine oh, I would have I would have said that. Oh, but otherwise, no, there was, we had a, we had a lot of we had a lot of dinners, um, a lot of a lot of dinners, a lot of um, hangs, and um, Scott and I had a very 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 long and very um, contentious table tennis rivalry um, that lasted over the course of of the entire production of the movie. And uh, I can't remember who won. He probably beat me last, which um, I hate that I know that. And I hope I get to see him again soon because I need to. I need to. Oh, I need to get him back.